More local coverage now. Joining us in studio, Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin to talk about a variety of issues that he is tackling right now in his office. Thanks for coming in, Peter. Appreciate it. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks for having me again. Let's talk about the hurricane and the potential for people looking to scam other people when it comes to donating money for relief efforts. Thanks for bringing that up. We want to do an early warning to people that, unfortunately, when tragedies happen to our neighbors to the south, and hopefully not to us, too, people take advantage of it advantage of that. They create false uh, rescue companies where you can donate and help right. out in their scams. They will just take your money. So go to websites, go to a trusted website such as uh, the American Red Cross and donate through a known quantity. Don't get scammed. Don't let your good hard-earned dollars that you want to legitimately donate go to some thief who wants to just take your money. The other scam that happens too, and this may happen especially if Michelle decides that the track may hit Rhode Island, People will call up and say, the National Grid, pay your bill. We don't want to turn off your power during the hurricane. Right. And they especially target the elderly. We want to warn people. That's not the way National Grid works. Don't fall for it. Report it to us. Report it to National Grid. And most of all, report it to your neighbors and friends. All right, good tips. Let's talk about the opioid crisis, a huge issue not only in Rhode Island, but nationwide. You've joined with other attorneys general to crack down on a company that makes an opioid treatment drug. What is this company accused of doing to warrant the lawsuit? Well, there's a pharmaceutical company named Reckitt, and what they've done is they had a product called Suboxone, which basically would help treat heroin addictions and opioid addictions. And as their patent was running out, they had segued to a different product and um, basically said this product really doesn't work, got it off the market. The reason being a genetic version would have been available once the patent ran out. We are saying that they denied the general public the ability to get the generic drug to save billions of dollars right. in costs and we are basically saying they engage in some deceptive trade practices. All right, so uh, you've been talking about distracted driving, of course, since you got into office. Uh, tell us an update on where your, uh, you know, your movement to try and crack down on this is right now. Well, right now we're, we're kicking off the campaigns in the high schools again. Yep. We've been to over 50 or 60 high schools over the course of the past few years. 25,000 kids signed the pledge, but now there's a new campaign out there. It's called 16 and 16, and it's getting 16 million Americans to take the pledge online to not text and drive. And we set up a website. There's a team. Rhode Island can actually get money from AT&T if we win the contest. Wow. It ends October 31st, and basically it's text to 50555, wait, space, R-I-A-G, and pledge that you won't text and drive. Hopefully we win the contest, but at the end of the day, it raises awareness, and hopefully we keep our roads safer. All right. Thanks so much for coming in. Great Thank stuff you. as always. Really appreciate it, Peter. My pleasure. Hope to see you again real soon. And uh, for more on uh, this interview or that website that Peter just mentioned about trying to win that contest, just go to our website.